KFA channel, uh, there's a shot of Lady Liberty, and she is sweating today. That's how hot it is uh, in the in the New York Metro. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And if you want to see what we're talking about, go to AFR.net. You can see the uh, great lineup of AFR Talk uh, by way of video as well as radio uh, each weekday. And I want to say hi to uh, Rolf, who wrote uh, me last night from the, uh, I think he's from the Tampa Bay area, Lakeland, Florida area, who watches the uh, broadcast AFA Today on Channel 22 there locally uh, in the uh, Lakeland, Florida area. So we are on some uh, television systems uh, besides that as well. And we welcome those of you coming from wherever you're coming from, by radio, by television, online, uh, on your app, on your smartphone, which you can download at AFR.net. Uh, we welcome you from uh, wherever you are. Uh, Kevin McCullough, my name, and uh, honored to be with you each weekday. Uh, there's no other people that I enjoyed seeing more in yester in this last week's uh, military, uh, the parades for Independence Day than those of our first responders and those in uniform that serve our country. And in our particular parade that, that we took the boys to, uh, there were a number of uh, men that served in uh, the, the wars that have already come to a completion, and there were those in uniform that are in current service that uh, marched. And uh, it, was, it was an honor to honor them as they passed by. Another way to honor them is to give them the things that they need when they are especially in theater. Uh, and that's why I love what the uh, group called Faith Comes By Hearing is doing. And on, on the line uh, with us is the vice president of Faith Comes By Hearing, uh, Mr. Troy Carl, who is the vice president. Troy, welcome to AFA Today. We're glad that you're with us. Kevin, thank you for having me. Absolutely. Uh, when, uh, when, you, when you saw those uh, men and women serving in uniform marching this last Wednesday in the Independence Day parades, you probably... Uh, we're thinking a little bit about, uh, wow, I hope we can get those that are in uniform uh, the Word of God that they need. What is the vision for Faith Comes by Hearing, and how does it relate to the military Bible stick for people that don't know anything about uh, what you're doing? Well, Faith Comes by Hearing is a 42-year-old ministry, and we record the Bible in an audio form, and we do that in today over 700 different languages. But the military Bible stick project came as a result of chaplains that were deployed in Afghanistan and Iraq, actually after the first war in Iraq, saying, hey, these are the most effective tools created to, to minister to a younger generation. That, uh, the chaplains would call them the iPod generation. They said, these young guys, they're, they're not necessarily reading. They're more than capable of reading, but they're listening to hours and hours of audio. And can you give us a tool that will help us minister to their needs? And that really is how it started, was responding to that request. And, of course, today now we have over 300,000 troops have requested and received a military Bible stick from their chaplain, and it has become a very uh, vital tool for the spiritual underpinning of our troops, and it's really just an invaluable resource to them. Well, and what a great gift uh, to receive at this time of year. Talk to us about the uh, what what comes with the Bible stick. Talk to us about how they use it. Is this something they plug into a, an iPod, to their laptop? How do they use the military Bible stick? Well, the Bible stick is designed specifically to the Department of Defense requirements, and it's about the size of a pack of gum. It's a little small stick. That's why we call it a Bible stick, and it's preloaded with the audio New Testament. And then we also have the Psalms, uh, on there as well in a full dramatized format, so it's like listening to dramatized radio. So the Bible oh, wow. comes alive, word for word scripture, 180 characters, but it allows a young person now, when they have their downtime or in between uh, running missions or on convoys or in areas where they just can't be reading, they can put it in their ears and they can listen to this device. And you know, a lot of guys will share it. Six or seven guys will share one stick but it allows them to engage in the Bible and hear what Jesus said to them personally. So does and the, of course we do the earbuds plug directly into the stick itself then? That's correct. It's similar to a little uh, MP3 player, right? Cool. But it's specifically designed for them. That's that's phenomenal. Um, well, Troy Carl, Vice President of Faith Comes by Hearing, uh, has joined us at AFA Today. We're talking about the military Bible stick. And here's here's the short way you can get involved, friends. $25.00. We'll supply one of these uh, little MP3 players to a, a, a current serving military personnel. Uh, and you can make that contribution at 800 800 2555. That's 800 800 2555. 
800-800-2555 or militarybiblestick.com, militarybiblestick.com. Troy, uh, you've been doing this for a little while. What have military members that have received them said to uh, your group, Faith Comes by Hearing? Well, we actually get testimonies every week, not only from the soldiers and the troops that have received them, but also from their leadership, from commanders to admirals, even uh, colonels have sent us specific uh, testimonies of how listening to the Bible has improved the morale, has provided spiritual underpinning to their uh, to their troops, which just increases their effectiveness. And, of course, the biggest transformation are for those that have never heard the gospel message in its entirety. And imagine being faced with the very real sense of your own mortality, um, you know, knowing how to get to heaven, knowing what Jesus actually said, knowing for yourself the truth that's found in the gospel message. Those are probably the most significant testimonies that we hear. We also hear that you know, from soldiers that suffer from stress, um, even post-traumatic stress from the rigors of battle, they find that listening to the Scripture calms their spirit, calms their soul. And, of course, for those of us that understand the power of God's Word, it has the ability to transform your life if you can just engage in it. So by providing a stick of this kind of format, it's transforming the lives of young men and women that are so valiantly serving our country. That phone number again, 800-800-2555, that's uh, 800-800-2555, uh, or visit militarybiblestick.com, all one word, militarybiblestick.com. Troy Carl, Vice President of Faith Comes by Hearing. I know that uh, in the uh, coming across of a testimony or two, there have to be some that have really stood out to you. Uh, tell us the story of one soldier who's, whose life has really been impacted by this gift. Probably the one that, well, there are many, but I can tell you that recently I, I got a message from a Marine, a young Marine that's deployed in Afghanistan, and he said, you know, he said, I come from a broken home. I never knew my father. And he said, but after I got the Bible stick and I began listening, I realized that God was my father, and I never knew that kind of comfort and peace that would come from knowing a heavenly father, and mm. absolutely blessed my socks off to recognize that there are young men and women that this is this is the hope of the message, that they have a father in heaven who loves them dearly and cares for them and sent his, sent his son Jesus for them. Uh, that, that's just, again, one of literally thousands of testimonies we get from these young men and women. Sure. Uh, 800-800-2555 is the number. MilitaryBibleStick.com is where you can go. And again, for those that are just joining us, uh, Troy, you put the complete New Testament on these sticks. Um, how long did it take to produce the entire New Testament in dramatic form? I mean, I run a media company. I'm very familiar with production deadlines. That had to be an enormous undertaking. <laughs> Well, and we, you know, we're pretty good at it. We've done it now in 733 different languages, and our mission is to record the Bible in all the languages of the world. But the Audio New Testament in English is about 18 hours of actual production, finished production. Uh, our first audio Bible took us five years, uh, but now with systems and technology and scripting, and uh, we now produce a new audio Bible in a different language about every six weeks uh, wow. from our location. So. Uh, we are now actually just this week added eight more languages, and so every other day we will have a new language coming out. So it's really quite exciting. And, of course, what we're talking about is giving uh, the, these military sticks to people that are uh, American service personnel, so they, they do speak English. But uh, the additional um, uh, languages that you're producing them in, these are for people that have never heard uh, the gospel in this format. Uh, do you do dramatized versions in all languages, or is that just this version for the military? No, we do it in all the languages. We have a dramatized, and in some languages we have non-dramatized as well. But, you know, I can tell you that the other amazing thing, the military Bible stick is predominantly done in English. However, those chaplains are ministering to people uh, that speak Tagalog and Arabic and Farsi, and That's true. Uh, some of them speak. So we can provide whatever that chaplain requests. We can provide that language on that stick, although it is predominantly in English. Um, and, and how do these get distributed? The chaplains are the ones that are giving them to the uh, service personnel? 
That's re- that's correct. According to the Department of Defense requirements, uh, a soldier must request them from a chaplain. So we're providing it as a support. But I can tell you that we have over 1,300 chaplains in the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and National Guard. And right now we have over 30,000 unfunded requests. So those are chaplains saying, hey, I've got 1,500 troops, I've got 200 troops, I've got 50 troops. Can you get me these as quickly as possible? So there is a tremendous need right now. We provide them to the chaplains, and then the soldier just simply asks that chaplain. We'll make sure that they that they get them. And of course, if you're listening and you've got a loved one, just have their chaplain go to our website, and they can make that request online. On I just behalf. want to make sure that I heard you correct. There are thirty thousand individual sticks that have been requested that have gone unfunded so far. That's correct. That we do okay. not have the funding to supply them. All right, so friends, there's a there's a starting point, and I, you know there's um, there's a couple hundred thousand people that listen to this uh, broadcast network every 15 minutes of the day, friends. So I'm I'm what I'm thinking here. You, you hear what Troy's saying? You're saying to yourself, this is a definite need. Those boys, those girls, uh, those people that are serving in uniform, they need our support, but they also need uh, truth that will encourage them, that will keep them. Uh, focused on their job that will get them home a little bit faster because they were able to spend time with God in the process of carrying out their duties. And friends, you know that $25 to supply something like this is almost, it's almost unheard of. I mean, what's the cheapest uh, iPod you could get from uh, from the Mac store? It's, it's probably not $25. And then you'd have to go and supply all of the content that's been done. And then, oh yeah, you'd have to make sure it met the military specifications, which you could never do for this price. So what they're doing is providing this incredible uh, value that will be deeply, deeply connected with by the military personnel that are requesting it. And they're just asking for our help to get it to them. $25 will supply a military Bible stick uh, to someone who needs it right now. And there's 30,000, just just picture a line, waiting to get a ticket to see the most recent movie, okay? You're going to go take the family to see Superman. You had to stand outside and wait. You didn't wait in a line that had 30,000 people in it. That's how many are, are in line right now waiting for the military Bible stick saying, please send me one. I would, I would love to uh, be able to uh, hear the Word of God uh, in my own, in, in, on my own time, in my own way. And reading is not optimal. A lot of these guys, are, uh, they, they've got responsibilities that require them to not be able to read. Uh, and so while they're uh, passing that time, uh, they can be reinforcing truth in its most relevant and important form for any human being. They can put that in their head, and they can say, yes, we will uh, uh, know God better because of this, and it's the military Bible stick that makes that happen. And friends, you can't, you can't go wrong by giving a gift of $25, $50, $100, $200. Dollars. Divide whatever you can give by 25 and that's how many um, Bible sticks you're going to give today. So a gift of, uh, of $300, for example, would give 12 Bible sticks to troops that are in need of them. I uh, can't even begin to add up what a $1,000 gift would be, but it would be a lot. Uh, 888, I'm sorry, 800 800 2555. Do me at least this favor. Write that phone number down. Because even if you can't call right now, put it in your smartphone, uh, put it into the dial position. 800 800 2555. That's 800 800 2555. Or go online to military Bible stick. Dot com. That's militarybiblestick.com. Troy Carl is with us. He's the vice president of Faith Comes by Hearing. And, and Troy, you, I'm, I'm assuming at some point you've had a chance to uh, interact with some of these troops uh, overseas. The conditions that they're serving in, pretty incredible. And I can only imagine that having the Word of God available to them in this way is going gonna, is gonna to be a powerful boost of encouragement to them. It really is, not to mention the fact that for those who uh, come back, think of the influence that ha- that war has on a young man or woman, and then they come back, and if they have already learned and discovered that they can find peace, they can find hope, they can find strength, they can find wisdom, they can find encouragement directly from the Holy Scriptures, if they learn that discipline while they're out, and then they come home and they begin to apply that in their own lives. Uh, I personally know because I have a son that's a West Point grad, and he's uh, served in Korea, and currently he's stateside, thank the Lord. But I come from a military family as well, and they, the, he talks about how these young men and women, when they come back, how that the listening to Scripture 
has transformed their lives. Here's the part that so many people have, that, that have access to the Bible to read six or seven different versions of the Bible on our shelves, we forget that 65% of Bible-believing Christians in this country have never read the entire New Testament. Hmm. So there are many people that they are Bible believers, but they don't 